Hello, welcome to Sips Wood Chips. I'm Seth Mendes, and I'm forever losing things in my shop. One of the things I lost recently was this key. And this is the drill chuck key to this chuck that I use on my wood lathe. And um, I was so desperate I went and bought another one to replace it, but it wasn't a good fit because it didn't have the right number of teeth. But it, it did work and I used it for a while. So um, I was cleaning out my tool cabinet and I found it. It was in the same tool cabinet where I had put it, but it's dark and the string is dark and so I couldn't see it and it was just sitting in the corner. So I had to make a new drill chuck key leash with a magnet on one end. Uh, it's really easy to make. I'll show you how to do that. Make sure you read, understand, and follow all the instructions that accompany your power tools and equipment. It's important to have fun, but it's also important to do it safely. So here's what you need for this project. You're going to need a 1 8 inch um, machine screw with a nut. You're going to need about a um, 1 foot piece of what they call sash chain. And this is steel. It's, it looks like aluminum, but it's steel. You're going to need a um, chuck key, a drill chuck key. You need a small piece of scrap aluminum, one rare earth magnet, and a small piece of copper wire. This is just regular house electrical wire, probably number 14 or maybe number 12. Um, you're going to need a uh, tin snips, needle nose pliers, some uh, electrician pliers, but almost any, any pair of pliers will do, uh, some diagonal cutters, and this is the, the chuck that goes with the uh, the key. I want to make a um, chuck key leash that looks more like this one here. It has a chuck key, a piece of aluminum to hold it on, a um, magnet. The nice thing about this is that when I'm done with it, I can just clip it to, to my chuck. If I'm working on um, on the lathe or such, then I can always find a piece of metal that I can clamp clamp the, uh, the chuck key to so I don't lose it. And these magnets are really strong, but you can just uh, slip them off and they'll come off quite easily. The smaller the magnet and perhaps a little bit less uh, magnetivity would probably be better. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I need to cut a half inch strip of aluminum. Okay. And things don't have to be very accurate. You can just uh, gauge it. So I'm going to cut roughly a half inch. Half inch is about 12 millimeters wide strip. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my, my piece of cord off. I'm going to wrap this around. It's got a shiny side and a dull side. I'm going to put the dull side out just for just because. Then just wrap it around. Okay. And um, so here's where you need the pair of pliers. In order to, to fit this uh, around the uh, chuck key, we're going to use a pair of pliers to bend it like so. And that fits a lot better. Now we can trim it off. And um, this only needs to be big enough to put a screw through it. And always clip off the corners so you don't leave any sharp corners. It's also good to have a um, file and you can run that file over the edges to knock off any burrs. And that should be good. And the chuck key should turn easily. So I'm going to go over to the uh, drill press and I'm going to drill a, pr a hole in the proximate center of this little tab here. And I want it just large enough for this, uh, that's probably a 3 16 uh, machine screw. So I'm going to drill a 3 16 hole through that little tab there. And I'm going to line it up on this little block of wood. And well, 
that's all there is to that. To assemble this part, all I need to do is take this part of the chain, pass it in between these two pieces here, make sure I can see through there, get it aligned. I'm going to push my screw through there. And you might need a screwdriver to get it to go all the way through a little easier. And this does not have to be tight. And we'll go ahead and put our nut on there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten it good and tight. And if you have any CA uh, glue, I would put a drop of CA glue or, or Loctite on there so it doesn't come off easy anymore. So I'm going to strip the, this wire with just a utility knife. the jump ring like this. I'll pass my chain through like this. Then using my needle nose pliers, well, I'm going to go ahead and take the diagonal cutters and cut this off now. Okay. And I want to make a little jump ring that um, crosses the other one so it doesn't come off very easily. So I want that one to go this way this one to go that way. I want both of them to meet up. Close it off. And then I'm going to close these around each other so that it doesn't open again. Then using my diagonal cutters I'll cut this part off. And that should be good. I'll bend those over. Again, you can take your little uh, file, and if there are any sharp points on this, go ahead and file them off. That's one there. And this one, it's got a little piece, a little bit of a burr on so. And there's your key. Well, when I'm done drilling, drilling my blank, all I gotta do is reach over, get my key, remove the bit, get the knockout bar, knock, knock my chuck free. I can take my key, snap it to my chuck, set it in the drawer, they'll stay together. I don't have to worry about losing it anymore. Well, if you enjoyed this video, click on like. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're not a member of YouTube, sign up for an account. It's quick, it's easy. You can leave comments, ask questions, and get answers.